There's Elvis. And there's some mama. And there's some babies. There's another baby. And we have the entire nursery here. Another one back there. We got everybody here eating peanuts and dog biscuits. Peanuts. I get the big, I get the shelled peanuts from Walmart because I looked at the peanuts that were in the shell and the weight of that, it's mostly shell. Whereas if you get the shelled peanuts, not only is it less expensive, you get all nut. You're not getting a bag full of what is ultimately mostly shell. And that's babies up there fussing with the bigger buck. And it's always the babies that fuss. Always. Ain't that right? Yeah, that's, you. that's that little tyke right there that's doing all that fussing. So I live in the woods, so I scatter all the food everywhere so they have some enrichment. Because if I put it in bowls, they would just fight over it. And I do it about 150 yards from my tent, about 100 yards from my tent, because otherwise they would be all, they would, they would bust into my tent. If they associate the tent with food, guess what? I've already had to patch up a huge area because this guy right here, yeah, this guy said, I'm going in. She's, she's, she's late getting home, so I'm going to go in and help myself. And one swipe of that claw and he was in and they drug the whole five gallon bucket out, got the lid off and got everything in there, including my oatmeal. So no more of that. So they get fed, and it, this takes them a while. They, they like to dig and rut for their food. That's their natural habitat. So I make sure, and then this is what they do all night. What, once they're done here, getting what I've given them, that's what they do for the rest of the night, digging up bugs and such. So this is just a little boost for them, but they still have to depend the rest of the night on their regular diet of slugs and there's no no shortage of that when I go back to my tent I'll I'll pass 20 slugs trust me this guy isn't as big as he is because there's a shortage of bugs and frogs near Lake Champlain he didn't get that way from me he don't get enough from me to get that big he was that big um, when he first came out of hibernation so this guy what you is that mr fox lurking probably and there's two more coming back there so this this they won't bother me the rest of the night 